America is taking a deeper look at its history as people in many states are rallying to remove the Confederate flag. Uh, and racial tensions are bubbling up over what can be defined as historical or just downright racist. Look at this. Recently, this mural in Idaho came under for depicting white settlers preparing to lynch a Native American. I traveled to a small county in Florida where another mural is stirring up a pretty big controversy. In a quiet rural county about 35 miles west of Jacksonville, Florida, hangs a mural. It depicts, in the artist's words, Baker County, Florida's thousands of years of history and prehistory. And thousands of people from across the country have stopped to admire it, some leaving notes of appreciation in its very own guest book. Beautiful with the accuracy of the history of Baker County, that's from Marion. Andre thinks it's an extraordinary piece of art. Then there's this anonymous message. Should make the KKK bigger and brighter. Yes, that KKK. The Ku Klux Klan is not heritage. That is a hate group. The simple inclusion of these hooded Klansmen on horseback is not what's riled John Phillips and other attorneys with the group Florida Justice. It's that this mural is hanging inside the Baker County Courthouse. Marquita Smith is Phillips' paralegal. Would be if I were to work, walk into this courthouse for any legal matter, am I going to be getting justice? Am I going to be treated fairly? Their group has now launched a petition on change.org to remove the mural. It's a pretty mural, but it should be in a place of historic value as a, a museum. Not in the courthouse? Not in the courthouse. The artist, local historian Jean Barber, died several years ago, but in a guide explained why many of the elements were included in the mural. The Palmettos, the Panther, the Confederate soldiers. He described the KKK as an organization that sometimes took vigilante justice to extremes, but was sometimes the only control the county knew over those outside the law. It's a bad thing to happen, but it's part of what did happen. Hoyle McInerney has lived in Baker County all his life. He's a counter-petition to, quote, leave the mural alone at the courthouse. He's collected as many signatures as the petitioners who wanted to come down. And they're offended by the hooded Klansmen and some of the other images. You tell them what? Well, if that's the case, then are we going to stop talking about the Holocaust in schools? You have to know your history to be able to stop it from happening again. But the petition alleges that the mural does more than depict history. It suggests that it features white supremacist symbols hidden in plain sight. There's symbolism to turpentine, which, which was used in tar and feathering. There's a copious use of trees and low-hanging limbs. There's just stuff that raises questions of whether he was, whether there was a deeper meaning. Including this woodpecker, just to the left of the Klansman, now widely considered extinct, the bird was once a southeastern U.S. native and, according to the petition and the Anti-Defamation League, a symbol embraced by skinheads. Justice doesn't discriminate, and yet they're going into a courthouse that says it might. Baker County seemingly settled this controversy in 2002 when the mural was dedicated. The chief judge at the time ordered that it be removed from its originally intended home near courtrooms on the second floor. So it was hung on the first floor. And with its tiny Confederate flag, there it's greeted every visitor for the last 13 years. So why the controversy now? Well, because this happened. After the removal of the Confederate flag at the South Carolina State House, Baker County and cities and states across America are being challenged to strike a balance and to consider finding new homes for history. It's the history of Baker County. That's what people are standing for, is to keep this history alive. You know, we feel like we have to look at history and heritage as, you know, as a common nation, white, red, brown, yellow, green, and that's, that's the issue. Well, a county leader says beyond the petition online, there's been no official request submitted to the Board of Commissioners to remove the mural. Florida Justice says at least not yet. That will likely come soon, possibly through court action. We'll be right back.